Hey, good evening. This is Jonathan. And I'm going to go through an update. It's been a long day. So first, check out the tumor. Honestly, I think it's bigger. It's just my hunch. It's weird. Uh, it, it shrinks and grows throughout the day. I don't quite understand it. It's like right now, it definitely feels bigger. It's it's not round anymore though. It's like globby, if that makes any sense. It's just been one of those long days. So I'm glad to be wrapping it up. It's 1127, which means I have a hope to wrap up the day, the Gerson therapy day on uh, before the 28th. So I'm just going to go through Proverbs. Very simple. I just match up a, the day of the month with the the chapter in Proverbs, and the whole goal is that I would apply something. But I can, I totally bailed. I totally blew it today. I didn't do this to begin my day because I woke up late. This is like the, I think this is the first day since I've been married where my wife. Well, it is my wife has woken me up. I was in a dead sleep. It's seven forty. And I'm, my brain is like, <gasps> so here we are. It's been a long one, but the therapy went good. Did everything, did two coffee enemas, did um, all the nutrition, the salads and everything. So I think tomorrow will turn in good. Oh, well, the one thing I do want to share is my, I don't know what happened. I, so I got the potassium uh, compound solution and I've been taking the amount that it says to start out with, and I think it was too much. I think, I think I was overrun, is my guess, because I ended up with this like headache in the middle of my head, and I would say it went from a headache to a migraine fairly quickly, um, not to like where I had to be in a dark room, but moving around was pretty difficult. It would you know make you strain, and um, it took, it took all of all of two coffee enemas and uh, 45 minutes in the sauna and some deep blue. Um, doTERRA has a, a blend that's made with polyphenols that uh, will take away inflammation. And so I put some deep blue on my neck. And in combination with all that, I didn't take any ibuprofen, which would be like my go-to. I've taken that for years and years and years in mass. So like, normally I would take 800 four, literally four, uh, 200 milligram capsules and, or tablets, but I didn't cause I don't want to screw my body up. I'm, I don't have any of that stuff in me. So everything I did was natural. Um, even the, even the polyphenols were natural. They're just really condensed and it took my headache away. So I got through it, which is a win in my book. So let's just, let's just pray and ask God to bless this time. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you. Uh, for all the opportunities to glorify you. And I, I pray for more of those tomorrow. I thank you for the rest that you'll provide. And I thank you for your word that it leads and guides and protects me through the day. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm just going to read through this and share from my day. Verse 27, or chapter 27, uh, verse 1 says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. And let another man praise thee, and not thy own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. So I'm not bragging about what's happening tomorrow. I have no idea. I didn't know I was going to wake up with a migraine. Um, it was a long day. And it's a good day, because the Lord overcame it. Got through the whole thing naturally, which is was the goal. Um, because my understanding is, once once you break that, break that nut, crack that nut, uh, the next one's easier, you know, cause my body's not dependent on it. So, uh, I'm excited about that. It says in verse three, a stone is heavy and sand weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than them both. Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? An open rebuke is better than secret love and faithful are the wor the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. Those, those, those blessings that come um, in lies, right? At least that's what I'm thinking of. Verse 7, the full soul loatheth a honeycomb.
but to a hungry soul, every bitter thing is sweet. Yeah, I got to tell you, when you eat the same thing, so now it's day 27, you eat the same thing every day for 27 days, uh, the little bit of sweet things that I get, so like uh, uh, Corinthian, there are tiny little raisins that are, they're like Greek raisins. They're really tiny. I can't think of the name. They're very good. Um, they're not as good, they're not as sweet as a regular raisin, but they're they're good. They're good on salads and I can have them. Currants, they're called currants. And uh, they're tasty. And I'll tell you, that I look forward to that. You know, that's like the sweet thing I get for the day. As a bird wandereth from her nest, so is a man that wandereth from his place. What is my place? That's always a question. And ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, and so doth the sweetness of a man by a hearty counsel. Thine own friend and thy father's friend forsake not, and neither go into thy brother's house on the day of calamity, for better is a neighbor nearby than a, than a brother far off. And I just, you know, just having that whole thing with the police where um, they came to check out our house and, you know, verify, I guess, that no, nobody was, nobody broke in. Um, my neighbor just came across the street and was like, hey, is everything okay? And, you know, notice the stuff. And it's just really cool to have good neighbors that are willing to step in and help whenever they can. I, I appreciate that. So thank you, Lord, for that. That's a blessing. My son, in verse 11, be wise and make my heart glad that I may answer him that reproacheth me. A prudent man foreseeth evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Take a garment for him that is surety for a stranger and take pledge of him that is for a strange woman. He that blesseth his friend with a loud voice <laughs> rising early in the morning it shall be counted a curse to him. Hey, good morning! Right? Everybody loves that when it's, especially like today, we're waking up with a migraine. There's not an easy day. Um, but I want to just say, knowing that going through the enema is going to make the headache better is really encouraging. Like, when things get really awry, I know I can go to do that in in the process, my headache will go away. Um, that's comforting, right? Not because it's easy, but because it works. And it's worked every time. In the 27 days, it's always worked. It's always taken that edge off. Uh, he that blesses his friend, yeah. The verse 15, a continual dripping in a very rainy day or like contentious woman, they're alike. It's just really painful. Whosoever hideth her, hideth the wind and the ointment in his right hand, which brayeth itself. Iron sharpens iron. I love this one. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. And so he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Oh, I don't want to wait on my master. As water face answereth the face, so is the heart of man to man. Hell and destruction are never full. And so are the eyes of man are never satisfied. You always want more. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. You just want more. Verse 21, as the refining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so is a man to his praise. Though thou should bray a fool in a mortar amongst wheat and a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. Verse 23, be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks and look well to thy herds. It's, I really always think about a, pa a pastor, you know, does he know how his congregation is doing, but then also, you know, for me as a husband, as the the man, the the dad, the leader in the family, am I in the place where I know what's going on with my family? And if I'm not, I need to change that because I, that would be in sin, right? Be thou diligent. That's what God says to do. Why? For riches are not forever, and doth the crown endure every generation. Well, of course it doesn't, right? You need to know where things are at. The hay appeareth. And the tender grass showeth itself, and the herbs in the mountains are gathered. The lambs are for thy clothing, and the goats are the price of a field. Thou, and thou shall love goat's milk, in, oh, I'm sorry, and thou shall have goat's milk enough for thy food, and the food of thy household, and for the maintenance of thy maidens. You'll have enough for you, and you'll have enough to take care of others. And that's a big blessing. I, I'm so thankful for the help that I've received 
in this process of having good nutrition and, and, and the juicer and it's so expensive the whole thing is just crazy expensive but God's providing and I'm so thankful for that Lord just thank you for all that you're giving and doing and bless your name for it and uh, I just want to be in that place of being humble and thankful before the Lord and see as he takes this guy away that's, that's it I prayed about it I'm going to trust the Lord. I hope you have a great night. Thanks.